Fun. Right, well today we're going to do... Uh, actually, I would like to start on a fresh sheet because the pen's all messed up. So, let's do a... Let's do... Uh, we're going to do matrix multiplication. All right, and what I want to say is matrix multiplication is not commutative like uh, numbers in the real system, like your algebra. So um, uh, when I say to you, oh, 3 times 2 or 2 times 3, well, 3 times 2 is equal to 2 times 3, which gives us an answer of 6. Not the same with matrices. Matrix A... Matrix A, matrix B cannot be guaranteed. Cannot guarantee equal. Maybe, but it's not guaranteed to be right. Uh, it may not. It's not even. May not even possible. What I'm saying. So, what does that mean? All right, let's go in and have a look. So, for our dimensions of our matrices. So let's give you one. So let's give you matrix A, uh, 1, 2, 1, 0. Matrix B, 1, 3, 0, 2, 1, 4. And I'm going to ask you to multiply matrix A times matrix B. So you will see if that's possible. And once you see how multiplication is done, you'll understand this a little bit more. But the first things first is if you had to go look at a simple way to check on it, let's go down and analyze the dimensions of matrix A. It's got two, two rows and two columns. So matrix A is a two by two. Actually, I can write that a little larger because I'm going to need to here in a minute. Sorry. Rating how large I would write this uh, because I'm going to need to box some things. Matrix B is two rows and three columns. Matrix B is a two by three. It's as simple as this. Matrix multiplication is possible if these are the same. And they are. The rows and the columns. The columns for the first and the rows of the second. Because you'll see why in a minute. And not only that, that tells you the possibility, and the dimensions of the product matrix, AB, AB's product will end up being, it'll end up being the rows from the first, and the columns from the second. So A, B, ma a B's matrix is going to end up being a two by three. Why am I harping on that a little bit? Because I found that's the easiest way to teach matrix multiplication. Because it, it makes it easy for you to see um, what's going to happen. So um, let's go in. Uh, let's let's do let's do our A times our B. So, um, is everyone, can I erase this right here? I want to keep it on lunch. Can I erase this? Okay. I was going to undo it if you said no. All right. So I'm going to multiply matrix A times matrix B. We said it's a two by two and a two by three. That two, the twos are the same. So I can do it. My rows and my columns. And the reason that is, I said, I said matrix B was going to equal so I said two by two, two by three. The insides are the same. That's what it's going to be. The outside are the dimensions. So the outside, so my product is going to be a two by three matrix. So it's going to have a row one, column one. It's going to have a row one, column two, and a row one, column three. It's also going to have a row two, uh, row two, column one, row two, column two. I'm tripping over my words here, but it's going to be a row two, column three. That's a mouthful. What 
And I think that's the easiest because, or the easiest way to teach, you can, because in my product matrix, I'm going to need a row one, column one. And then there's going to be a procedure. So to, for me to get row one, column one, I'm going to need to multiply all of row one with all of column one. And for me to get row one, column two, I'm going to need to multiply all of row one by all of column two. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then I'm going to multiply row one by column three. And it takes a bit of practice, but it's easy once you see it. Once you do it a couple of times, it'll be so easy. But it, it takes a little bit of practice. So keeping the fact, all right, what element am I trying to get? Oh, I'm trying to get row one, column three. Um, this is a drill. At this time, we are going to practice a lockdown drill. If we had a threat outside the building, we would close the doors, watch the perimeter of the building, please continue teaching. So at this time, we will start the drill. Again, it is a drill. If you will pull your door closed, uh, continue teaching, and I will let you know when the drill has ended here in five or six minutes. Thank you. Okay. So. <laughs> So, um, so, uh, so we, you, so I would say to you, I would say a good thing for a test, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, would be instead of you doing a whole thing, I'd be like, okay, what is uh, the the element in the product matrix A B, row two, column two? Give me row two, column two. Oh, how do I get row two, column two? I multiply all of row two with all of column two, and there's your answer. You don't know how to do it yet because I haven't showed you. But once you do, you will. So, all right, you're watching? Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've got, and I will only just now so I can keep it on the same page. So I'm going to generate row one, column one in my product matrix. So that has to be all of row one by all of column one. So I'm going to do, I'm going to show the steps, even though you wouldn't need to. It's going to be one times one. So I'm, I'm multiplying, I'm multiplying one times one, right? So I'm going to multiply row one, column one uh, with row one, column one. So I'm going to multiply one times one. You wouldn't have to write one times one, but for your notes, I'm showing you what happened. And then you're going to keep adding for as many elements that are necessary. So you're going to always going to be, you're going to be moving over in your row, you know, in columns within your, within your row, you're going to be going to the next column and you're going to be coming down in that column. That's why those numbers need to be the same, right? So you're going to do one times one plus two times two. So one times one plus two times two. It's really easy to know when you're done or when it's not possible, because guess what? If, if there's nothing else to multiply, you're done. And if you have another element here and you don't have anything in here, you're like, oh, I didn't notice it wasn't possible. Right. So, um, so uh, let's go ahead and keep going. So now I want, I've got my row one, column one. So now let's just for fun, let's, I'm going to find, I'm going to find row two, column three. So I'm going to go and do that. So on row two, column three, you would probably do it in order, but I'm just showing you that it's possible to do it in any order you want. So row one, row two, column three. So I'm going to do row two. So I'm going to do right now, I'm going to do one times column three. I'm coming up from the bottom is one times zero plus zero times four. All right, and I'm just going to do the rest of them. So I'm going to do them in order right now. So I'm going to do. At this time, the drill has concluded. Again, the drill has concluded. Thank you. And please excuse the interruption. So now I'm going to do row one, column two. So I'm going to multiply those numbers. So one times what number? I'm doing row one times column two. So what do I multiply? One by. Three, and what am I going to multiply next? <coughs> two, by one. two by one, and add those together, right? See if everyone can get the pattern before we're done with all of this. That way we don't have to stand up here and do a ton of them, right? So you got one times one times three plus two times one. 
Okay, and I'm going to quit writing them now. So I'm actually going to put the numbers, right? So now to get row one, column three, it's going to be two times zero plus uh, two times zero. Uh, no, no, one times zero plus two times four. I was like, I had my rows, I pointed into the wrong row. One times zero plus two times four. Now I want row two, column one. So I want one times one plus zero times two. Now I want row two, column two. I want one times three plus zero times one. So then I can simplify that. Your final answer will be, what's that? One plus four, that's five. Uh, three plus two is five. Eight, one, three, zero. Yes? Now, just to hammer home what I said earlier, let's try and do, let's try and do B times A. Is that B times A, that's going to be a 2 by 3 multiplied by a 2 times 2. It wouldn't work. Because when I'm trying to do B times A, I would do 1 times 3 plus 3 times 1 plus 0 times what? It wouldn't work. Right? That's why your rows of the second one have to be the same as the column from your first one, and I save my first one in your product, first, second. Okay, so nice and simple. Um, I'm not going to, I, I, I was going to show you how to multiply matrices on the calculator. You've had enough experience entered in row reduction that we can do it later, because later on, for, for the test, you're going to row reduce, and you're going to do some things in the calculator. And you set up systems and you find inverses in the calculator. So let's save that for another day. Let's just start practicing and I'll work with the requisiting people, the retesting people and the whatnot. And then I want you cranking this out. Um, uh, what I want you to do on the sheet I give you, I want you to do all the multiplication by hand each time. It's just pattern. Just, just get used to that pattern and it's really easy. On the test, I have to have you do it by hand. Right? So... Um, so I'll have to force your hand that way. Okay. Um, I think that's it for the lesson.